Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. As always, I appreciate all of the support that you lovely people show me. And thank you as well for taking the time to watch one of my videos. I hope that you're all doing fantastic and having an awesome day. If you missed the previous episode, go back, check it out. Otherwise, I'm about to spoil what happened. And we're about to take a look at what we have in store for you today in this episode, my friends. 500 likes would be awesome. Let's have a look at what we have to come today. All right, so we'll start with what happened last time out. Our quadruple dreams were shattered with a 5-2 defeat in the Carabao Cup final against Leicester. We played against Spurs in a 1-0 victory. We came off the bench in that game. We started the episode, though, with a really good start. Initially, in the Champions League round of 16 first leg against Shakhtar, going 2-0 up before crumbling and throwing it away and the game ended 2-2. So we head into that second leg, needing, simply put, to get through to the next round. Otherwise, I will be bitterly disappointed. I say it a lot, but the Champions League is a trophy we want. We've yet to win it. So, Shakhtar, that'll be in today's episode as well, that second leg round of 16. We also have Southampton and Liverpool in the FA Cup round of 16. So, potentially, the treble dreams might become just a double. So, within two games, we might have lost the chance of two trophies. We shall see, though. Um, without further ado, we're going to jump into this episode, quickly do some training so I can get back into the starting eleven, and then we'll take on Liverpool for the FA Cup. Let's have a look at the two lineups. Here they are for you on screen. Take Fusakubo starts. We saw him sign for Liverpool in the January transfer window. He came off the bench in the Carabao Cup game we played against them in that second leg, but he starts here today in a very strong Liverpool starting 11. You can see the City players not quite fully fit. Arujo, the only one full fitness ahead of this one. Let's see how it goes though. Too many. Haaland's quick one, two. Haaland's got the ball again. He plays it down the right hand side. We're looking to the middle. Only Valverde inside the Liverpool penalty area. Now Haaland does make his way into there. It wasn't the best of crosses, in all honesty, as the loose ball could be won. And it is a Manchester City free kick. And I'm tempted to try something a little bit audacious here and see if we can do a free kick routine. Haaland does go for goal. And wow, to be honest, it went a lot better than I was thinking it would. He got a lot of pace on the shot and, well, in the end, Alisson saves it. So far, the opening 20 minutes, Manchester City seemingly have put the disappointment of the Carabao Cup final to the back of their minds because they've started this game so, so well, putting the pressure on Liverpool and Valverde's header will find me looking to place it. Oh, we've hit the inside of the post and it's come back out. It would have been quite a spectacular finish, but unfortunately, the ball has not nestled in the back of the net and as I tried to play Haaland... It's intercepted. Gordon, Gelhard. As we saw, that was incredibly close to Liverpool being behind here at Anfield. And in the first half an hour, I just mentioned it previous, we've put that result against uh, Leicester to the back of our minds. Gordon's in here, though. Gordon is in. Should have shot. Should have shot. Glad to see that not only is it my teammates who sometimes make the poor decisions, but also the opposition teammates as well. But yeah, Liverpool not started here so far. And Manchester City having a really good time of things as we pull the ball back and Tonibo positions himself expertly to stop it being 1-0. We are very much knocking on the Liverpool door, but at the moment cannot find a way through. Let's try and do a bit of a deeper corner this time. See if we can find it. In fact, it goes straight into the penalty spot. And again, Manchester City are denied. Four minutes remain of the first half. City's free kick goes long. Toribo wins it against Haaland. There's Rodri with a follow-up header. But now Laporte will have it. Plays it forward to Barella. Barella to Gelhard. And it looks like now Liverpool may have some space to play with here. Barella, no one pressuring the ball. I will go and try to get close to him. Now Gallagher. Gallagher's ball. Takefu Sakubo scores. It's too easy. I was trying to close the ball down because no one else in a City shirt was doing it. They were all tracking runners. And you can see, I mean, look, look at Rodri there. When the ball goes into Gallagher, he doesn't even try to track back. So, oh man, Liverpool ahead. First shot on target taken by Take Fusakubo. The Liverpool signing in January has made his mark in this one. And as we enter half time, what has been a very good half from Manchester City, just unfortunately not found the breakthrough. They're going in at the break behind. 
Final 20 minutes of football here at Anfield as there has been changes for both sides and Manchester City are now on to ultra-attacking. Martinez across. Torres in the way. Paul Torres. Busio, who has just come on as well to play against his former club for the first time since signing for Manchester City. We need a goal. We need to try and find it. Here is Haaland. He's got Busio to his right. Busio trying to get me away. Alexander-Arnold steps in. And Kimmich and Allen between the two of them. That's poor though. Given away. Chuameni. What can he do here? Chuameni. He's got it. Left hand side. Can he pick out the right pass? He's found Haaland. Haaland back the way of Foden. And again though. City can't pick out the right pass. We have five minutes of the 90 remaining. And there is three Liverpool players around me there. Still managed to get the ball away though to Haaland. Haaland into the area. Looks for the ball across. He will accept the corner kick. Decided to take it. Instead of trying to play the ball back in, we're going to look to play short here. See if we can make something of this. Foden has come short for this. Foden towards Goncalves. Goncalves! If that was a shot, it was a weak effort. And as Alisson will send it up the field of play, it's won by Gelhard. Now Barella towards Martinez. Intercepted by Pau Torres. I wasn't ready for that pass, but fortunately we're able to get it away in time. And that, my friends, is full-time. Liverpool 1, Manchester City 0. Quadruple dreams to treble, now to double. As we are out of the FA Cup. Take Fusakubo's goal before half-time. You can see my reaction. In that first half, I don't really know what more we could have done to take the lead. We had a few chances. We hit the post. We had some good saves made by Alisson. But ultimately, gave away one moment to Kubo. He took it, and that's the difference. And City now have to reset their mentality. You know, that Carabao Cup defeat in the final followed up with the Liverpool defeat there to knock us out of the FA Cup. It now means that we are only on for the double, the Champions League and the Prem. And speaking of the Prem, Manchester United have just won, which means we've got a game in hand and we have to win it against Southampton to go back top. We are starting on the bench, though. I've got no training. And with Shakhtar Donetsk second leg to follow, which simply put has to be a win, we need to make sure we'll be in the starting 11 for that game. So let's see what the result is as we join this match. Southampton, 19 points at the moment. It's looking like a comfortable 3-0 victory as we join the game with half an hour to play. So we know the three points are secured. Well, I'm saying that. I'm hoping the three points are secured. We're on for Haaland. And it's about trying to get that manager rating back up. So we start the game against Shakhtar. We join the game with a goal kick the way of Southampton. And we're just playing up front today. Maybe... We grab ourselves a goal. That's enough to get our manager rating back up to starting against Shakhtar. Valverde here in the centre of the park for Manchester City. Now finds Rodrigo. He goes back to Valverde. Now Torres to Rodri. And Southampton with every single player in their own half here, which means space is going to be quite limited. But we'll try our best. Costa as we pull away. Valverde. Foden. Lovely. Why can't we do that more often? 4-0 City. I say, why can't we do that more often? We have scored an incredible amount of goals. It's more in the games where we need those goals, where it's 1-0 and a goal changes the game, or when we've not played too well and we pick the wrong pass option. That's the frustrating part, and that's what I mean when I say, why can't we do this more often? Regardless, Foden makes it four, as if the points were ever in doubt here. Valverde, pressure put on, Foden, Valverde, Foden again. How has he picked out that pass? It's a brilliant save. It is a brilliant save. I don't know how Foden found that pass. What a ball it was. But then, outstanding goalkeeping to deny Valverde to make City's fifth goal of this game. Rodri, Rodrigo, Chiuameni, Chiuameni's ball does find me. I'm sent a little bit wide here, though. We will play Foden. Quick one, two. Foden gives me it back. Right foot. Oh, well then. Denied. It's a good save. It's a very, very good save again. Rodrigo with a corner. We'll see if there's anything to come of this for City's fifth. The delivery in. There's Gitcharida. I tell you what, if you're looking for a highlight reel of saves, well, you're seeing it. It may be 4-0, but Dimitrevsky is making some outstanding stops in this game. Lovely turn. And this could be a chance for Southampton. It will be a chance for Southampton. It will be a goal as well. Lovely little turn to set this up as well. No clean sheet for Edison. This little turn there as Arujo went to try and get the ball. Isn't able to do it. And the ball goes across. Still, there's a number of City players in that penalty area. You feel the ball should be cut out. But full credit to Southampton's attack to create that chance and take it as well. It'll mean very little. In fact, it won't mean anything for the result. But... 
It does mean they get a goal and it stops the clean sheet for Manchester City's number one. Meanwhile, there is actually a game going on elsewhere with Manchester United. So even though we're winning here, we will not return top of the Premier League because we'll still have a game in hand to play. They are beating Sheffield United by three goals to nil in that one. So it will remain the same as it is right now. We will just have that game in hand in the future. Gear Chirida, Chiuameni, Chiuameni right-hand side, gets the ball across, does he? Not quite, Leanko will intercept. I don't know why my player is having a bit of a moment there where he seems frustrated, but anyway, we get the corner. Goncalves delivers to nobody and it's away. And that will be the end of this one. Shakhtar Donetsk, second leg. Massive, massive game. Do not get knocked out of the Champions League here, Manchester City. And there is confirmation of that 3-0 victory for Manchester United. Now, the frustration thing here is for me as well, though, is the objectives. I wasn't able to complete any of them because as I came off the bench, it was fairly quiet, that game for me. And if we look at my training now, this is going to be incredibly close. In fact, we're not going to make it back into the starting 11 against Shakhtar. So it means we start on the bench. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, please, 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 please do not say we're losing as we enter this one at the Etihad. It's a big, big game. I'm going to click play match. Well, happy days. 2-0 Manchester City. Although, this was the same story in Ukraine. And that game finished 2-2. Surely not, right? Well, we'll find out. Here we go. Straight involved with a Manchester City corner, which will be taken by Chiuameni. Delivered into a really good area. Marlon away. We will intercept and play it back out towards Chiuameni. He will find Rodrigo. Rodrigo will lift the ball in. We go to challenge. And it's away by Shakhtar, but only as far as Ruben Diaz towards Haaland. Haaland gives me the ball. I'm waiting for a run. And there's not even an overlapping run, but we've done well here to keep hold of this ball. You know what? Chiuameni's there. Can we find him? We can! Oh, Shevchuk! Shevchuk! We're seeing some outstanding goalkeeping performances in this episode. Let me just say that. And another top, top save as the ball is loose. Paul Torres does get it. And the space has just opened up massively for us. Oh, the ball got stuck under my feet. It's not going well. <laughs> Sometimes you have these type of episodes and I feel like I'm in it now where I just can't seem to make things work for myself or for Manchester City. Shevchuk, two big moments here. The positive for us, though, at the moment is that we are very much well and truly camped inside Shakhtar's half. Harlan will get the ball towards me. I'm sent wide. Can I play it back? I can! There's a Rougeau! City 3, Shakhtar 0. And that should seal it. Get in! I had this horrible, sinking feeling that we were going to see us get knocked out of the Carabao Cup by losing it in the final, knocked out of the FA Cup by losing to Liverpool and then knocked out of the Champions League by losing to Shakhtar. But for the moment, our Champions League run looks like it will continue. Arujo smashes in Manchester City's third. Another free kick. Haaland is taking. Again, I'm not really sure why. And that's why. That is why. Arujo, what a header. 4-0, and he's got another. To be honest, though, I don't necessarily think it's the delivery that makes this goal because Arujo's header is phenomenal. It's the header that makes this goal. It's not a bad delivery by any means, but still, I'm not sure why Haaland is on our deep free kicks. Mentioned it last episode. You want his aerial presence in the box. But Arujo, lovely, lovely header. And he's got a brace. Hat-trick for Arujo, maybe. Haaland will play it down the line. I have got the pace to get there as well. Not only have I got the pace to get there, I've seen back post. It's Rodrigo. It's saved, but the rebound's there for Valverde. Oh, my goodness me, Shevchuk. Take a bow. Take a bow. How oh, it's not 5-0. Well, Shevchuk is the reason it's not 5-0. And when you're making saves like that, surely you're going to have teams around the world looking at potentially bringing you in as a transfer. That is outrageous goalkeeping. Switch of play is on. There it is towards Rodrigo. Rodrigo's ball back in. Gonzalez. Chiuameni. How that's not resulted in a goal. It deserved to be so for Manchester City. But again, Shevchuk. Shevchuk, ladies and gentlemen. Although he's conceded four, there's an argument to say he maybe could have got the goalkeeper, the man of the match award, as Arujo nearly got his hat trick. Yeah. Should he get man of the match, Shevchuk? 
Well, he's just denied Arujo his hat trick with another, another magnificent save. Yeah, arguably one of the best Champions League goalkeeping performances we've ever seen. Outstanding, but unfortunately for him, Shakhtar Donetsk are out. Manchester City advanced to the last eight of the Champions League. Man of the match actually went to us for an 8.4 match rating. So a lucky Shevchuk, but we do get the award for man of the match. And you can see some of the other ties that have happened there. They're not fully finished though, because as you see, there's a number of ties still yet to be played. And we will see who we will face in the next round of the Champions League. As we advance the days towards Brighton and Hove Albion, this will be the final match of today's episode because we have had two substitute appearances. I'll make sure that we get a full game against Brighton as we advance forwards to the Etihad. And we've been called up for some international friendlies, which I won't be playing as we know. Don't play the international friendlies anymore. We're just in the team ahead of this one. Right. Game in hand. Win it. We're back top. United very much keeping the pressure on us at the moment. Brighton, where are they? We know they've got a decent team. They have uh, the likes of Luis Diaz in their team. And they're in 10th at this moment. We won't take a look at the Champions League draw yet. We'll save that for the end of the episode. Team news is in from the Etihad. Pat Sadaka up front for Brighton. With Diaz starting on the left. And again... Pressure put on us. We have to match the Manchester United results. Brighton playing that three at the back formation. And what I'm hoping is that we get an early goal, which forces them to have to play forwards even more and create those massive gaps for us to look to exploit moving forwards. Here is Foden. Haaland to his right. He's also got Costa finding Haaland. What is with goalkeepers in this episode? What is happening? I'm pretty certain I don't have any goalkeeper sliders on. In fact, having said that, it's not the best of finishes by Haaland. He's in that position. He should bury it. I have just checked as well. And yeah, all of my settings are default, as they were. Everything 50. So the goalkeepers, whatever is happening, they're just playing out of their minds today. As the delivery in from the corner. There's Arujo, though. And City lead. And it's our goal-scoring defender who has popped up once again. Two in the Champions League. One to start us off here today at the Etihad. Another quite brilliant header as he finds the back of the net. And City do have their early goal I was talking about. Brighton now have to think about what they want to do moving forwards. Are they going to commit more players to the attack? Which will leave big, big gaps with only playing three at the back. Or are they going to try and just soak up pressure and see what the second half will bring? Unless, of course, Brighton... Go and get an immediate equaliser. Luis Diaz. Now Pat Sandaka. His effort, Edison saves. It wasn't a great shot from Pat Sandaka. And as Edison will play the ball out wide, it's a lovely ball, a great pass as well. And now we can find Chiuameni as we look to break. Chiuameni does play it down the line. Haaland's waiting in the middle. And the ball will reach Erling Haaland. His volley has somehow found the back of the net. I don't know how that's the one that goes in, but City are 2-0 to the good. And surely, surely Brighton cannot come back from here. I've said that before, though. So maybe I'll eat my words, but I'm feeling actually pretty confident by the way we started this game that this is going to be a City dominant display as Haaland's volley chests it down. Sheer power beats the goalkeeper. Torres, ball forwards. We've got Haaland just ahead of us. Too many to our left. Rodri will play it down the line here. Maybe. No, nope. he goes to Arujo who does play it down the line and we're allowed to cut inside and you can see there's too much space, way too much space. And that is why it's City 3, Brighton 0. We can have the width. But if we get inside, there's only the three at the back. And with myself, Harlem and Foden pretty much play on that three at the back. It's 1v1, v1, 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 you know. Well, 3 1v1 is what I meant to say. If one of us beats them, they're in trouble. You see there. Then they have to send one of the other defenders to cut the gap off, which leaves either Foden or Harland. On this occasion, it's Harland. And he grabs his second of the game. Costa, loose, Mateus Cunha! What a finish! What a finish! Punishing the mistake from Costa and punishing it with a wonderful strike. No chance for Edison. Lifeline Brighton, 3-1 the game now. That is maybe a way back into it for them, but it did take quite a big mistake here from Costa as I don't actually know what he's trying to do. Maybe he's trying to play that to Valverde, but he just gets his pass wrong. 
Absolutely zero chance for Edison. What a finish. Torres. Arujo lets the ball run underneath his legs as we cut inside. Trying to create again for Manchester City. Haaland's in the middle. The ball will go towards him. Haaland with a turn. Alte with a save. He's looking for his hat-trick. Denied it there. But City corner. Can we get our fourth right here? Kovacskelia is on. And I don't know why he didn't start the game. But he's on now. And that means that Brighton do have a potential chance to maybe pull this back. And in all honesty, I didn't think I was going to keep that ball in play. That is unreal. It's 4-1 City. Half-time whistle looming. Lovely by Manchester City. I feel like I say lovely a lot. Just a nice word, you know what I mean? I have just seen as well at half-time, we are the early kickoff on this particular day. And United are playing again. So even with this game, we aren't going back top unless, of course, they lose that match. But yeah, if they draw or win, we'll still have to wait to return top of the Premier League. But it's just good that we're keeping the pressure on them and, and effectively saying you have to now win your game because otherwise we are going top and there's five. There is five. Didn't even let Alte get set in the Brighton goal. Immediately, one touch, back foot, left foot finish, top bins. And you can see they're just not touch tight. It's why you receive on your back foot. In fact, it's not even in the top corner. That is not even in the top corner. It's nice, the strike. Alte should do better though. Here is Mateus Cunha, the goal scorer for Brighton. Driving them forwards. That's our 23rd in 28 Premier League matches. Still got it here, Mateus Cunha as well. Still got it. This time, Pau Torres, though, will intercept. Valverde, Haaland. Haaland's ball. Foden trying to get in down the left-hand side. There's the over-the-top ball for Phil Foden. Haaland still making his move. Here is Erling Haaland for his hat-trick. And he's got it. City have their sixth. Kivac Skelia now through and Cisco. It's a nice goal. It's 6-2. Kivac Skelia's ball found by Ancisco. He's finished precise. But there's just not enough time for Brighton. 18 minutes to play. Here is Haaland. Now we'll find myself. Foden again is on that left. There's that ball, Foden. Haaland. Haaland. Foden. In fact, it goes to myself. And we finish into that bottom corner for seven. Weaker right foot. Again, City just able to pick out their intricate passes. And actually, I initially thought the ball was going back the way of Foden. It was really nice link-up play between these two. It reaches me, though, and the goalkeeper commits one way. We go the opposite. What a game to finish the episode on. As we started with a bit of another bit of disappointment, we finish with advancing to the last eight of the Champions League and a 7-2 scoreline here against Brighton, which could... Get better with Giacharida, right-hand side, ball, Chuameni, now Foden, now Gonzalez, back the way of Foden, oh, narrowly wide, narrowly wide. Final minute of the game though, I'll stay with you because it's looking like it will be full-time as Nonto is on for Dakar and the ball does go forward. Again, I don't know why Nonto didn't start. Can you imagine a Brighton team that features Luis Diaz, Kvachgelia, Nonto, Dakar? Would have been an outstanding attacking Talent display, really. But in the end, it's finished City 7, Brighton 2. What a result. And as you see, Spurs, Man United is the game going on after we advance. And we will see how it finishes. International friendlies with England. As you know, I'm not playing them. But that, my friends, will be where we end today's episode. Let's see what the results between Spurs and Manchester United was. It was a United victory, so they do retain top spot for the moment. They played and won 2 1. We've got Leicester on the 28th, which is our game in hand. And you saw how it went last time against Leicester, so that could be tricky. Followed by Arsenal. Man United have to play Leicester as well, though, so do keep your eyes on what happens in the next episode. For the Champions League, it is time to see our round. Or quarter-final draw. I was about to say round of 16. No, we had Shakhtar in the round of 16. The quarter-finals. Let's see who we will face. I tell you what. Initially, when we looked through the groups, I said Shakhtar Donetsk or BSC Young Boys would be the best draw for us to get. We've got Young Boys after they've defeated Ajax by three goals to two. So Barcelona play Leipzig. We've got BSC Young Boys, Real Madrid, Chelsea, and Leverkusen versus PSG. 
What an opportunity this is to get through to the semi-finals, my friends. If you did enjoy today's episode, though, a like would be greatly appreciated. 500 likes would be awesome, as I said earlier. Massive thank you to all of you for all your incredible support and lovely, heartwarming messages and comments. Keep them coming. I love reading them. And uh, we'll be back for another episode very soon. Hopefully you're seeing this over the weekend. So next episode at the start of next week. That is the plan. But until then, stay safe. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Look after each other. And I will catch you all back here again very, very soon. Adios.